how waking up at 3 a.m. can completely change your life and get you close to the goals and dreams that you have. First of all, welcome to another video on this channel and today I'm going to share with you my insights and why it is really beneficial to wake up early and maybe as early as 3 a.m. I'm going to share with you my experiences and something that I've actually survived through. This is not just the concept that I found on internet and I'd like to share with you. This is actually what I've done for, for almost six years now and it tremendously helped me uh, through my life achieve things that I wanted to achieve really quickly and consistently. So why 3 a.m.? You may have seen the videos like waking up at 5, waking up at 4, 30, 3 30, but 3 a.m. that is ungodly early, isn't that right? Some people say it's like in, in the night. Um, but you know what? It doesn't matter. To be honest, like Yes, waking up at 3 a.m. was very beneficial for me and very beneficial maybe for some people who tried that before, but the concept is not waking up exactly at 3 a.m. And I'm going to share with you why is that. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to share with you why 3 a.m. completely changed my life. And it is because when I started my business, when I started the self-development journey and everything, I was still in high school. And in order for me to get everything done, I actually keep growing and keep growing my business, keep growing myself and doing all these things that I wanted like reading, journaling, meditating, working and then, um, you know, doing all of these things, it required time. It required certain time for me to make it happen. Um, and bear in mind that the high school usually starts at 8 a.m., right? Um, and I didn't, I didn't live in a city, in a town, sorry, at the time. Uh, so I had to move, I had to go to the train every single morning and then get to school. So usually I left home around like 7, uh, maybe even early uh, 6.40, something like that. So it was 6.40, I had to leave the house, okay? So normally I would usually wake up at 6, right? Um, when I got to school, I spent school like 8 hours every single day and then usually I went to the gym. And after that, when I came home around 5-ish, I was really tired. I was really tired and I couldn't do the work I wanted. I was really tired and I was like, I cannot focus. I'm too busy with other things that I have to do and I don't have the mental energy to get my things done. And it was already like um, 8 or 9 when I was you know, about to settle down and go to sleep and that's it. So what I figured it out, I always woke up sooner. During my high school, I was waking up sooner, like hour earlier, then two hours earlier, earlier, and then three hours. Okay, and that was the point where I started to wake up at 3 a.m. And what it helped me is that I got almost like three hours. Yeah, almost like three hours for work. I woke up at 3 a.m. I had time to, I had three hours dedicated for self-development and growing my business so I had enough time and in the morning I'm a morning person I always focus better in the morning so I had perfect time for me to focus and do the work so that's why 3 a.m. was for me basically because I needed to wake up sooner and therefore I went to sleep like around 8 8 maximum 9 like 6 hours of sleep is not ideal but at that time I just had no choice um, but yeah, not ideal, but I was going to bed like at 8 a.m., okay? 8 a.m. I was done, I was tired and I was dead. But I was happy because I got to accomplish everything that I wanted. So that's why waking up early doesn't mean that you have to wake up at 3. This is like too much for some people and I agree that it was like really too early. But I had to do it. I had to do it in order to gain these 3 hours for myself. And I had to sacrifice a couple of, um, you know, hours in the evening so I could go sleep earlier and wake up earlier basically. But the point is that waking up early every single morning before you have to go to work, before you have to go to uni and before the whole chaos starts, you have to or it's suggested to you that you dedicate at least one hour for yourself. One power hour that you put truly on the things that matter and the first thing that matters is you. So you should put the time, 60 minutes of the time to yourself like reading books, meditating, journaling um, and doing like maybe physical exercise, something for yourself. If you're working um, at a 9 to 5 and you want to start your side hustle, work and that side hustle before you go to your actual 9 to 5 job, right? You have the dedicated time to spend, focus time, really sharp time for yourself to get the work done and get everything that you want before the thing like the chaos and everything starts again. So. 
my dad said you didn't have to uh, wake up at 3 a.m. Okay, this was really expensive. This was really difficult. I had to adjust a couple of times, a couple of weeks until I got it and until it was kind of automatic. But the takeaway here is dedicate some time, wake up early. There are so much better, so many benefits that you will be like surprised, the crazy surprise. You will feel more energized. You will feel like you get a lot of things done and you will just feel amazing. And I can guarantee you that. And make sure you don't spend the hour on social media, uh, replying emails, replying text messages. Spend the hour for yourself and you will see how amazing uh, your your performance is going to be throughout the day. You're going to be well focused. You're going to be you're going to be, you're going to be happy, and uh, truly you're going to achieve greatness. So thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one.